Welcome back, it's good to see you. So this video has been recommended to you regarding openness and openness is one of the five factors in the big five personality assessment tool. So we've recommended you this video because right now you're scoring really low in openness and we would suggest to you that you bring that score up a little bit for a few different reasons. First of all, having enough openness in your life is important for your life satisfaction, your health, and the length of your life in the long term. So being a bit more open can help to ensure that you're happy, healthier, and having a longer, more fulfilled life in the long term. The other thing is that when we're too closed, when we're too shut down from new experiences, we're not engaged in life, we're not kind of flowing through life, having the people and experiences and the fun of life. So really being out there, having an appropriate level of fun and joy with your friends, with your colleagues, with your partner, with new experiences, and also being open enough that people like you, people have fun with you, people are gonna offer you things because they know that, it's first of all, it's gonna be fun to make you the offer, it's good to see you, it's fun to hang out with you, and that they're not constantly getting shut down with you because you're always saying, no, that's not my thing. There's a certain level of saying yes to, yes to people and saying yes to life that helps ensure your happiness and health in the long term. And if you're feeling really closed right now and really, you're really saying no to everything, you're not trying any new things, we wanna ask the question, why? We wanna ask if you've been hurt before, if you're carrying any psychological injury or trauma that you might wanna take a look at and do some constructive work on so you can let that stuff go and be at a more positive, more open, engaged level in life. And we're not asking you to, to, to go to any extremes, right? People who are being too open, we also ask them to reel it back a little so they're not engaging in risky behavior or they're actually not starting too many new things at the same time and not getting to finish everything. So being in a balanced level where you're open enough to new experiences but still respect your health, your body, respect your natural boundaries, you're consistent with your work, you're following your goals and your mission in life, that's important. So a suggestion here is maybe take a look at your friends who are more open, the fr your friends who are scoring higher in this quality of openness to new experience and spend some time with them, maybe ask them some questions, see how their openness helps them contribute to their joy and happiness in life. And for yourself, a little exercise is try new things on a regular basis, whether that's every week or every month, every quarter, or every year, try something new. Maybe try a new team sport this summer. Maybe try a new restaurant every month. Maybe try traveling to taking a, like a day trip or a weekend trip to a new part of the region that you're living in. Just hop in the car, hop on the train with a friend and go someplace new for a couple hours or a day or a weekend. So try to increase that step by step. Look at any things that are holding you back so you can let go of them. Take a look at your openness in your next meditation and talk about this in your next uh, in your next session with your coach and we're really glad you're here and we hope this helps you to be more balanced in openness in your life so i wish you a great day and good to see you